Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into the episode of The One Again Show. Today's second topic. Uh, Emmanuel Acho and them have stuff to say about the Ravens offense. So, on speak, I want to say about 14, 15 hours ago or whatever, James Jones went on speak and was saying that he, he actually met and talked with Todd Munkin about the Ravens offense. And not only did he highlight how different it's going to be, but how they're going to be kicking it old school with Lamar. And by old school, I mean Louisville, Lamar. Spread out the whole nine. Let's get these, let's get everything out in space and let Lamar work. So I'm gonna play a clip and then we're gonna dumpster dive into it. You know how we do. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Two needed to go down there to Baltimore and get in the facilities and, and talk to Monk. And he said, We are taking Lamar Action Jackson back to Louisville. Louisville! Ooh, it's full wide. Oh, come get Whoa. it. Ooh, oh. He's going to get the ball out of his hands. Fast. He's going to throw this thing, make the right reads. Yes, sir. And it's not going to be nine people in the box that he got to do. Nope. If he does choose to scramble, it's going to be five people in the box. He got to make one miss to go do what he does. All we've been hearing is how talented a passer Lamar Jackson is. Barry. And he just ain't had the chance to show it. Mm. Yep. He is going to get the opportunity to show that I this year. Me. And it's up to him, like you said, Ancho. The plays will be right. They will be called right. The ball is going to be in Lamar Action Jackson's hands, and he has all the weapons around him to get that done. Yes. Another thing I'm hearing out of that camp is Zay Flowers is the best receiver out there, including OBJ, and it ain't close. So with everybody eyes on OBJ and OBJ come back to the Rams in the Super Bowl and finishing that year out strong. Yes, looking sir. Like that OBJ, yes, sir. With the addition of Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers, baby. He's not just a burner. You could put him on the outside. You outside, can put him in the inside, any way you rest. want it. This offense has answers to every single thing any defense wants to give them. And it's a bigger answer when you yes. talk about Lamar Action Jackson being able to use his legs when it's spread out like that. So, so listen, man. I know y'all heard what he was saying. What he was saying for all of you haters and crit critiqueful mongers out there. Number eight with an MVP. There it goes. I said it for you. Let me fix myself. I've been trying to let everybody understand that the Ravens are going to be doing things a lot differently. A lot differently. Lamar wants things spread out. He wants room to operate. I don't even call him Lamar no more. I call him the surgeon. He's looking for room to work that scalpel. And once he has room to move that scalpel, it's a perfect cut every single time. No matter who he's giving it up to. And that's going to be imperative coming to the Ravens offense this season. Let me be clear when I say this. It's not just Lamar you're worried about. They actually got him receivers that you have to worry about. You can't sag off of those guys. You can't leave those guys open. You don't you can't just say, "Oh, he's not going to catch, he's going to drop it." These guys are fast and they have hands and they can make anybody in this league miss. And that is what's going to make this team truly indefensible. Because what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? It's one thing to say, let's try to corral Lamar. And they haven't even been truly successful doing that. But then to say, okay, now we got stuff on the outside. That kid, one hit, bam, throw it out, bam, touchdown. Throw it this way, bam, touchdown. Mark Andrews do the same, bam, touchdown. How are you going to corral it? Remember, people, no matter how much they say, oh, Lamar could pass, whatever it's like that, because we all know he can, of course. All of these defenses, are they fear his legs. That's what they fear. That's how they all think. They don't think of it like, oh, we should fear. No, they go in there ignorant and say, oh, let's just stop his legs and then make a beat with the pass. And every single team that has done that to him, he has absolutely skinned them alive. Skin them alive. 
Let's stop him from running. Like that's what he really wants to do. <laughs> if you let Lamar get 500 passing yards, he's going to get 500 passing yards. <laughs> it, listen, I'm, I'm actually laughing at this because what's going to happen, and this is the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the real thing. I'm waiting for the narrative and the goalposts to be moved. Because make no mistake about it, people. If this team comes out like gangbusters and are blowing teams out reminiscent to the 2019 season, I'm here to tell you that they will change the narrative. They will say it was because of the system. They will say he doesn't make players better. They will say he's still not a passer. It's all scheme. It's all monkin. It's everybody but him. And I'm telling you, that's where they're first going to go with it. That's where they're going to go with it. Just make sure that you guys are ready for it. That's why I laugh at this. Because every NFL player with a, with a, even a slight bit of common sense knows what type of absolute terror number eight is on the field because there's no true answer for him. If you say spread him out, okay, spread him out and Lamar decides it's time to keep, what do you do? What do you do with Zay one-on-one? -on -one? What do you do with Bateman one-on-one, -on -one, all game long. What do you do with OBJ, one-on-one, -on -one, all game long? You're not going to double those guys. You forgot about Mark Andrews? <laughs> like, have you forgot? That's why I think that it's going to be nightmare season. I think the Ravens are going to start kind of slow. They're going to win, but they're going to start slow. You're going to see their comfortability start to rise every game until they hit a fever pitch, and I think they're going to take off scoring massive loads of points. I, You know what I mean? Like, you're going to see them testing certain things, testing what works, testing what doesn't, testing what they like, testing what they um, don't like, seeing what routes they favor, stuff like that. That's going to be the first four or five weeks. But after that, Mark? <laughs> Woo! Choo-choo! Because they're getting, because the other team is going to be getting ramrodded. Pause. No pause. Pause. <laughs> but I'm serious. They're going to be getting shafted. Because what are you going to be able to do? I'm telling y'all this right now. Mark my word. What's today's date? On July 21st, 2023. I promise you guys. The way the Ravens are going to play. A lot of these teams are going to be begging after, let, let's say if they win the title this year, because I remember I, I specifically said they will have an opportunity to repeat, to win at least two straight. They're going to be begging for rule changes. They're going to be looking for the actual rules to be changed to corral them, because they're going to say there's nothing we can do with it. They finally unlocked it. Oops, sorry, that's not fair. He's a cheat code. This ain't this ain't Madden 04 with Michael Vick. That's not fair. Sorry. <laughs> it's not happening. And they're going to make rules to try to slow him down. Mark my words. You heard it here first. So when they do, you'd be like, yo, that's they're gonna call that the Lamar rule. Like you remember they had the Brady, the Brady uh rule. Remember with the going at the legs of the quarterback and stuff like that when he had broke his leg and everything else? I'll be here. I'm telling you. I truly do believe that the Ravens are going to open a lot of people's eyes this year. And look, let's be real. We know how this team goes. Rookie of the, I mean, rookie offensive player of the year, it, it very well could be Zay Flowers. It very well could be. And if it is, that means this team is scoring a lot of points. And if it is, that means Lamar is throwing for a lot of yards and, and throwing a lot of touchdowns also. And this team is scoring at a rapid a, a rapid pace that I don't think anybody's going to be able to keep up with them because when they switch back to running the ball, they have the personnel to absolutely bludgeon you to death slowly but surely, especially 
that they've retained Gus and they still got Lamar Jackson being able to break and, and, and hit any scene he wants and just go. But what do you guys think? Do you think James Jones is wrong? Do you think that they're actually just going to be running Lamar like before? Or do you think they're going to open this thing up and, and open it to a world of new possibilities? Let me know down in the comments section, okay? But that's another episode of the Wonder Kid Show! <laughs> Thank you all for watching. You know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. Everything we talk about is rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. Just be respectful, please. And if you would like to donate to this channel, bottom of the screen on this side, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign The Wonder Kin Show. Also available, last but not least, is the Patreon. I'm telling you guys, the extra tiers is available. Boom! And it gives you a lot of extra stuff. Check it out. It's an amazing buy, and it helps support the channel, and it gives you more access. I mean, what? I mean, come on now. And I'm working on some things. So the extra access, especially during the year, let's just say secret interviews and stuff like that. Just saying. But once again, that's the Wonderkin Show. This show's Nitro signing off, and as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace, and I am out of here. <laughs> yep. <laughs>